Hey guys, so with the quarantine going on, I've been seeing so many at home workouts posted on Instagram, which is awesome. Like we definitely need, people need more of those resources, but they've all been kind of hit based. And me as a calisthenics athlete, so I'm somebody who trains body weight all of the time, I really wanted to provide you guys with some strength and skill based at home workouts. So that's what we're gonna do today. The good thing about these workouts is they're gonna teach you more body coordination. You're gonna develop a lot of straight arm strength and there's a bit of hypertrophy in there too. So what does hypertrophy mean? That means you're tearing your muscles to allow them to grow. So this is actually something I wanted to cover with you. So if your goal is to grow larger muscles, you have to do a higher volume, higher reps. So when you learn all these exercises and then now you're planning your sets and your reps for them, what you wanna do is think about your goals. So if your goal is to gain muscle size, you're gonna to wanna to pick progressions of the movement that allow you to do 10 to 12 reps per set. This means picking an easier progression so that you can do more of it. If you're looking for strength training, then you wanna pick a progression that does around six to eight, that you can do around six to eight reps for. So for example, in the workout today, you'll see some planche push-outs those are so freaking hard. I can only do around six to eight. So I would consider that a strength-based movement for myself. For other people, they might be stronger than me and then they might actually be able to do the 10 to 12 and be able to do it hypertrophy style. I train so that I have both rep ranges in. I always adjust the volume so that I can get both strong and get larger in size. These workouts are also gonna help you with skills. So they're gonna help you with your handstand, help you with anything that you need more body coordination. And I do want you to know that for you guys, these exercises might seem a little unique, but for me, they're exercises that I do all the time. But it wasn't always that case, because I'm self-taught calisthenic, so I could not do a handstand. I could not do a handstand when I started. Um, if you go on my website, you'll see an example of my very first handstand. So for you today, you might be a little bit confused. It's because you haven't asked your body to do any of these things before, so you don't actually have the control yet. If you keep practicing, you'll understand the movement better and you'll be able to get into it easier. It'll flow better, but you have to practice in order to get good at it. Okay, so for the workout today, I highly recommend warming up first. So I actually have like a mobility follow along video, completely follow along, I'm gonna warm up your whole entire body. So if you wanna do the easy thing, just go click on that video, do that, and then come back to this workout. Also, if you're a bodybuilder or if you're somebody who doesn't typically use their wrists very much, probably wanna add in some extra wrist training because everything in calisthenics on your wrists, like so warm them up if you have if you don't use them often. Okay, well, I think we're ready to get started. I'm gonna go ahead and talk you through all these movements. If you have any questions, you can feel free to put them below. Follow me on Instagram, Summer Fun Fitness, of course. Okay, so this first exercise here, I recommend any human being doing this one every single day. They're called swimmers. What you do is you put your forehead flat on the ground. You wanna maintain contact with your forehead. You also wanna keep your lower body engaged as well. But what you do is you lift your arms up from the shoulders. The whole time you're trying to keep your arms as close together as possible, which actually might only be an inch or two off the ground. You're visualizing bringing your hands together and rotating through your shoulders the entire time. This should be quite difficult. You wanna continuously fight for that height the entire way. I want a lot of effort put into this movement. You can even put a yoga block on either side of you so that you have like a visual cue for your arms to go over as you're trying to develop the control to be able to do this movement. So generally I start every workout with this, especially because I work a desk job. Okay, so this next exercise, I'm working on my straight arm strength, I'm working on my coordination, and I'm moving my wrist in a couple different directions. You don't have to do it the exact same that I'm doing here. Basically, I just put my wrist in a different position the entire time. What I'm trying to do is maintain straight arms, maintain that push. So the entire time, I'm pushing through my hands. I'm trying to take the weight off of my feet and put it into my hands, continuously pushing away the whole time. I'm pushing away and I'm landing softly. 
I want you squeezing everything so you're landing as softly as possible. That is key. Key to all my workouts, land as softly as possible, okay? Don't go up too high. If you go up too high and you don't can't control it, that's not really helping. So we're gonna control our landings, even if you're like only jumping an inch off the ground. I want you to work on controlling it and putting the weight in your arms. Generally, I just pick a long, long hallway or something and I do those back and forth a couple times. You usually do them like four times across the gym. You might have less room than that though. This next one, it's easy to do it wrong. What we're trying to do is plant our hands and work on like our handstand position. So if you need to learn how to do a handstand, go check out my video, how to do a handstand. But we wanna push out through our arms, same thing. We're trying to take all the weight into our arms. We're trying to make our feet weightless. You're gonna to have to engage your core. You're gonna to have to lean over and keep those freaking arms straight because we're trying to develop that straight arm strength. So keep them straight. So you push through your hands, push through your shoulders, push, 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 lean forward, bring your feet forward, land softly, okay? Push, 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 push through those arms. Next one here, we're getting a little bit more dynamic. Key things to remember again, keeping that arm straight, rotating through the shoulder, rotating through the shoulder. Keep that arm straight. I can't say that enough time. Keep it straight. There's a couple different ways to do this exercise. This is just how I'm doing it in this video. Okay, this one is amazing. This one is so amazing if you do it right. So what you wanna do is set your wrists and your elbows in line, push them up against a foam roller. You can do this on the ground, you can do it on a towel. You just set them in line and think about compressing in so your pec should be engaged, should this be squeezing. So if I had a yoga block in between here, I'm squeezing that and then pushing against. And then what I do from there, so once I've maintain this strength. Now I'm trying to keep that position and push out. What do we got next? Okay, this is a stable if you wanna learn how to handstand. I want you to do 10 kickups per leg, keeping those arms straight. So we're trying to get weightless, but the main purpose of this exercise is to land softly. So you might not kick up as high as I'm kicking up in this video. You might kick up this much, just this much. That's good. If you can control that and you can land softly, then do it two inches off the ground and three inches and keep going and keep going. Only kick all the way up if you can land softly. We're doing this in a condo here. We don't want to piss off the neighbors. Up next, we're gonna set our hands to the side. We're gonna push out through our arms. Our arms are staying straight. They are staying straight the whole time here. This will take a long time to learn. Um, this is helping on our planche skills. I'm definitely nowhere near a, like, a strict planche, but this is gonna help keeping our arms straight that whole time. We're trying to push out, you're trying to get your shoulders past your wrists. So not just to here, we're trying to get it past and straight. Good luck with these ones. Okay, here we have another handstand drill. So our arms are straight and we're gonna jump up. We're gonna jump up, you can do it pike, you can do it straddle. The whole goal is to land softly while keeping your arms straight. I have a bad habit of bending my arms because I'm more comfortable where that strength is. I'm trying to get rid of that. Lean forward, push the ground away, push it away as much as possible, and land softly. Only kick up as high as you can land softly. Next here, again, straight arms pushing out. My shoulders are away from my ears. They're not up here, they're away. And we're just working on that hollow hold there.
Next, we're working on some compression skills. You might not look like me when you're doing this exercise. That is okay. You're developing new pathways, new strength to be able to do this one day. So again, it's straight arms, it's lean forward, and you might only move an inch. It is okay. You wanna squeeze your legs together. You wanna to get that lean forward and that push out. We're always pushing the ground away. Okay, so I know you guys love my zombie press, so we're gonna work on that here. Obviously you need some slippery ground. Farther down your hands are, the closer they are to your belly button, the harder the push-up is. And we are always in calisthenics thinking elbows and tight. Pull yourself all the way to your belly button if you can push up from your belly button. It's a great way to develop control of your entire body. Not letting that lower back sink though, core engaged, okay? And here's the last one. This one's a little weird, I just started doing it. So you're gonna do some rocks, but you wanna keep your legs together and it is so freaking hard to keep your legs together. As you can see, I have some improvements to make on this, but it is a good exercise, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Try it and rock keeping everything together. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed learning some of the exercises I do quite frequently. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And just so you know, I understand it could be frustrating that you can't do any of these movements yet. But know that I was in the same boat. I am self-taught. I have no gymnastics training. I didn't look like this when I started. I didn't have these skills. But it was through the dedication of continuously practicing and learning new things that I got to this point. And I can't wait to progress even further. So if you guys want to progress and be able to do some of the things I can, you have to do it consistently. You can do my 45 minute follow along workout for handstand press. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed learning some new exercises to actually build strength and coordination and full body skills. Um, again, I'm Summer Fun Fitness. I post most frequently on Instagram, so follow me there. Farewell.